preach. Somebody said, that prophet, can you, pre uh, can you prove to me? We all know that there were po four powerful lepers. Am I right? How many? Four. They went in into the camp of what? The Syrians. Am I right? And they all run. Am I right? The word of the Lord said that they started eating. They, they did so many things. And do you know what they did? They said that we must keep some certain things before we release the news. Do you know the meaning? We must enjoy. Number two, keep some certain things before we release the news. Because when they come, they will take everything whereby we will become foolish. Am I talking to somebody? Shout amen. So, Daniel did the right thing. Daniel did the right thing. And do you know what happened? Because of what Daniel did, many people, his own friends, church, didn't want like the promotion of Daniel. It means that 90% once you are on this uh, church you have to know 90% eh, doesn't want to see you being promoted it's only few that will be happy for you when God visits you it's only few that will be happy church when they see you progressing in what many few church you have to know because listen many many doesn't want to see you going higher <laughs> mama the great i'm preaching to you the word is for you oh mama mama You have no idea. Joseph. For a whole mama. To what? You have no idea. Hmm. They, the king promoted this guy. And the guy started everything, church. And do you know what happened? Daniel 2, 16. Something happened. When we come to Daniel 6, something happened. So from 2, 3, 4, 5, and what? And six. Now watch this. Those three powerful men that Daniel mentioned their what? Their names. That the king promoted. Do you know what happened? They set them up. And they set Daniel to up. They set them up, Daniel 3, to bow to the word, the image, they refuse. And they grabbed three of them, am I right? Threw them into the word, the fire. He said that you guys should bear. We don't want to see any promotion, nothing. There is no way we can sit down and for you guys, the captive people, to come to this place and just enjoy. We will show you guys where power lies. But when they got into the world, the fire, the fourth man. The fourth man said, I do not be worried. I came in first to prepare the way for you guys. And they started praising God. 
The word of the Lord says that those that threw them into the world, the fire church, those people didn't know what happened. They themselves. They were not inside the fire. Just outside. But because of the heat. They died. But those that went into the world, that they threw into the fire, nothing happened to them. They brought them out, examined them, everything. Do you know the reason why they set them up? Because of the promotion. The king promoted what? Them. It's not everyone that will be happy about your promotion. Can I tell you this? There are some people even now they can't sleep. Because what the Lord is about to do for you. They don't know what will happen. Some people it has already turned into a nightmare. They don't know what is going to happen next year. What is going to happen to Stephen? What is going to happen to this one? What is going to happen when they uh, you know, touch their bed? You'll be the one that will come into their mind. What is going to happen? How this a whole thing? Oh, this one, they can't. We do respect, pardon me. Why don't you throw this, those nonsense aside and begin to think how you can develop your life? How you can move forward in life? Because the person, Edmund, the person that is thinking about Edmund, about evil way, Edmund is right now, you know, enjoying moving. Am I right? The person has already, and you'll be thinking. Shout amen. amen. The king promoted Daniel. And Daniel said, that king, I have three brothers. I want you to do something. They too became, uh, you know, wonderful. Uh, Daniel was a senator. And they too became uh, administrators. Shout hallelujah. And they set them up. Because I said something last week that I will continue. Am I right? Now, let's go to Daniel 6. And let me show you something right now. The book of Daniel 6. Ima, read from the... I have the King James and the NIV. I have both. So, whichever way. Ima, let's go right now. Those who are watching right now. May the Lord bless everyone. May the Lord bless you. Let's go. Okay, verse 1. Yes, verse 1. Daniel 6, verse 1, King James. Uh -huh. It pleased Darius... To set over the kingdom 120 princesses, which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first. And the princess. No, no, verse 2. Over these three presidents, am I right? Yes. Whom Daniel was first. First. Mm -hmm. Daniel was number one. Mm -hmm. First. Shout amen. Amen. And what happened, Emmanuel? That the princess might give account unto them. Hold on. That princess must give account uh -huh. unto them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the king should have no damage. Uh -huh. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princesses. Hold on. God gave Daniel divine favor and the king that perceived in his heart mm -hmm. that I must put this guy in charge above uh -huh. presidents and the people didn't like it because God gave Daniel an excellent word spirit and the people didn't like it they said how dare you you can you can never but they didn't know that in the book of Daniel 2, 16, God promoted who? Daniel, am I right? And the king gave Daniel many gifts. Mm. Shout amen. Many gifts. He might read. Uh -huh. yes, then Daniel was preferred above the president and princess uh -huh. because an excellent spirit was in him. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. An excellent spirit. Yes, sir. Was one what? Was in him. Inside. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Come. John, come here. Be fast. Let me use this word. An excellent spirit. Mm -hmm. Come. 
I permit you to come. Was, let me use the word, on him. On. I can take this mm. and throw it somewhere. My God. But in him. In him. When you touch this, it will not work. Until you kill the person and pierce the person and open that person's uh, uh, intestines and everything, you will never even find that excellent spirit. Do you know the meaning? It means that the excellent spirit has not become like in that one. It's inside in his what DNA. Where but physical eyes cannot see. So that's the reason why I want to tell you today that the thing is not on you hey. but the thing is in you yes if that thing is in you yes nobody can take it hey. everybody shout hallelujah hallelujah everybody shout amen. amen so i am here to tell you go and tell the haters yes the bye bye yes and those who want to finish you yes that the thing is not on me my god but the thing is in me jesus I didn't hear amen. amen. And I prophesy to you Prophesy. that now that God has deposited in you, those that will touch you can never touch the gift. Amen. Those that will touch you yes. can never touch the life. Amen. Those that will take that thing from you yes. can never take your soul. Amen. Because it's in you. Yes, Lord. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The external spirit was in what? In him. In him. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. So look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Against those who carry who carries the excellent spirit. Excellent because spirit. it's not on them. Because it's not on but them. But it's in. It's in. Them. Thank you. Shout hallelujah. So watch this. So if it's in you, it means that when you move from here to Montana, it goes with you. When you move from here to Nigeria, it goes with you. But if the thing is on you, you can take it and put it here and go to Nigeria. But because it's in you, no matter where they will take you, the excellent spirit will still function. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Major. So the people didn't know that the thing was inside him. They didn't know. And they did something. Yes. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of that excellent spirit, the king lifted him above all of them. And they became jealous. That's the reason why I used something uh, last week that when you receive your promotion, or after your promotion, what will be the next thing? After your promotion. As I'm talking to you right now, watch this. The enemy is doing so many things, church, that doesn't want you to feel good. As I'm speaking to you right now, it looks as if you carry the whole world. As I'm talking to you right now, you touch, you have everything. You have your car, you have your house, you have money that you can buy food. Thanks be to God. But you're still not happy. It looks as if some things have already entangled. By the time I finish this sermon, yes. any foul spirit yes. will leave you. Amen. Any foul spirit yes. will leave your house. Amen. Any foul spirit yes. will settle free. Amen. Church, let me tell you something. Yes. I command wickedness to depart from you right Amen. now. And may the Lord uh, yes. infuse his power Amen. into your being. Amen. You are heavy. My God. You are heavy. Jesus. That it look as if you carry the whole world. Jesus. You are indeed heavy. It looks as if your joy is not complete. Jesus. You are heavy. Jesus. God is telling you, God is speaking to you right now. Jesus. That the thing is not on you. Yes. But the thing is in 
you and nobody Amen. can never take it my God. may the lord set your spirit free Amen. everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah can i give you this revelation can i give you this revelation Stephen? devil is not after your money devil is not after your wife devil is not after your husband devil is not after your shoes but devil is after the joy that you have in the lord amen that is the only thing the devil needs because if the devil can take the joy that you have in the lord he can bring other things so you must protect the joy that you have in the lord yes. more than anything yes. shout hallelujah. hallelujah listen to me always you have to put your troubles aside and you just have to lift your hands and say thank you jesus yes lord. you just have to appreciate god yes, lord. because the love that you have church is more than everything i tell you you have to put your cash in. listen to me it's not the car that will give you joy God. cars and houses will give you something called just a leisure am i right yes. but it is the joy that you have in the lord that will give you everlasting strength yes that is the reason he said that the joy of the lord is my strength shout amen, amen. please i am begging you starting from today don't allow anyone to disturb you about the joy that you have in the lord my God. when somebody bring any trouble that you know that it will affect your spirit tell that person i don't want to hear Jesus. if you know that you watch this on television that will touch or affect the joy that you have in the lord you have the power your remote control is in your hands turn it off yes the joy that you have in the lord pastor see the man of god is it worth more than millions amen. everybody shout hallelujah shout amen, amen. Church, how come how come uh, uh you know a uh, good woman can have a mansion their husbands will buy mansion they will live in six bedrooms you can name them uh, 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 three living rooms and everything by the end of the day the ladies will divorce the man and say that i'm not happy i want to leave do you think the house will give you joy or the house will give you peace uh, but somebody lives in someone's basement husband and wife they don't have a mansion but the joy that they have they are better than those who have uh, yes. mansions am i talking to someone let's take it to this physical joy that we need at times we let some certain things go so that you will find the joy so what how much more about the joy that you have in the lord at times our hus husbands will say that honey you have everything i bought you everything what do you need again the woman doesn't need the houses and everything you are the one that the woman needs you have to give her peace If you're a woman here, me, I don't care. Let, let, let him do whatever he wants to do. Now that I have a mansion, I have my cars, I have a cook, I have a, a garden boy, I don't care. Let him go out and do everything. You are, you are, you are. Add the extra one. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, can I, can I say something? You are sick. You are sick. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, Major. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So I am begging you today. You have the power. Selena, Sammy. You have the power to protect the joy. You have to protect it. How can you protect the joy? if you don't know there are some people church the spirit that they carry when they come to you when they come into your atmosphere as soon as they leave your atmosphere will be polluted and you begin to feel heaviness you have no idea they will dump they will dump your spirit i want you to check it there are some people as soon as you wake up in the morning when you finish your prayer they carry negative news
they carry what? Negative news. They will just give you a news that will destroy your whole day. Shout at me. When they come, they, they will pollute your atmosphere. Because of the spirit they carry. Daniel had a wonderful, excellent spirit in him. It means that for you to join that man called Daniel, you too will have the same thing. Because the atmosphere is what? Conducive is good, church. Listen to me. Our environment, church, counts a lot. Your environment counts what? A lot. Stephen, your environment eh, can disgrace you. It can cause you to lose respect. You'll be walking outside, pardon me, with my boob, uh, uh, my lace, eh? African thing. It's not lace. A free and Dan was in my office. He said that, Prophet, this is nice. He said, Dan, I will show you the guy who always, so that you can buy some. Shout, amen. Listen to me. You will wear this. You will be walking around. Oh, very nice. And, and somebody will visit your house. As soon as the person said, the one that will greet that person is a, a big roach. Will just go, Pow! good morning. And the big mouse will just pass. Hello. Mama, I want to use your washroom, please. Can I visit this one? As soon as the person will be, ah! cannot even sit. But outside, you are shining great by your environment inside. The person will say, Oh, what a mansion. Wow. Says, It's by the grace of God. Deep down, the person will insult you. Hey, I didn't know. That this lady that walks shining, shining. Hey, come and see you. When I went into the house, I couldn't even eat. Your environment. The atmosphere. The what? The atmosphere. So the way you portray outside, your inside must also be on the same way. Oh, I didn't hear amen. Amen. I am not saying we are like that. Oh. I know that we are abundance grace and may God forbid. We are clean people. We are great people. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. I, am I speaking to somebody? Yes, prophet. It is very important. God Almighty promoted this guy. An excellent spirit was what in yeah. him and what happened in Manuel. let's go because an excellent spirit Church, am i giving you right information yes sir okay let's go because an excellent spirit was in him uh -huh. the king thought to set him over the whole realm then the president and princess hold on Ima. everybody watch this how come the king thought to what the king thought to set him Hold over up. to set him over the whole realm. The whole realm. Why? Why? Excellent. Because the king knew that the guy has that. Never in your life put a fool. Eh? <laughs> Anytime a fool become your supervisor. Hey. <laughs> Anytime you promote a neighbor. Head over that company, your number. Shout amen. amen. Our men in this house, and those who are watching, men in this house, can I tell you something? The things that can cause somebody to become a man is not about your age, but it's about your maturity. Somebody can be 60, child, 62. The person is not a man. The person cannot be a man because the person thinks like two-year-old baby. But somebody can be 20, just 15. But the person's mind can be more mature than somebody who is. So you can see some men walking, noble man, noble man. Go near them and talk to them. You know that they are not noble. Uh, noble. When they open their mouth 
and advise you. Then you know that, oh, I didn't know that this man is such a foolish man. Why am I saying this? Men in this house and those who are watching, we are the leaders. Which we have to lead our families. Am I right? We have to lead our wives. We have to lead our children. So any anything that we need, church, we must ask God. And the first thing that we need is the word called wisdom. Wisdom to lead. Because every man is a pastor. So I mean, you are a pastor inside your big house. I visited you guys. And when you come here, I am the pastor. Stephen is a pastor. Howard is a pastor. Your church member is Joyce. And you have to lead. Joseph has four church members. Angela and the boys. You have to lead. So we do respect, pardon me. If you don't have wisdom to lead, your wife will reach to a level whereby she will become a shipwreck. Cannot even move. Stagnancy is something because if you don't move, there is no way. And it is very dangerous. Some women are in danger now. Why? Somebody will say that prophet, why? Because they've now entrusted their lives into the hands of their husbands. Because the husbands are the drivers. And the woman is the passenger. If you don't drive good and when you crash the car, you kill a whole family. So who is driving that car? Is that a man called Naban? May the Lord diffuse any Naban in your life. As a woman sitting here right now. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We all need the wisdom of Solomon. So that we can drive the car. Because I want you to know that many lives has been what? So you have to be careful. Stephen, I can hear you say that's true. Yes. It is very important. Like a leader standing here right now. If I, I don't have wisdom to lead. All of you who will be what will be doomed. But thank God that wisdom, ah, 110%. By the grace of God, shout hallelujah. So it means that you guys are secure. We will drive you guys to where God wants you to be. Unless you become stubborn and move from the car. Am I talking to somebody? Church. Let me give you this revelation before Ima continues. That God gave a wonderful direction to a man called Noah. And God told Noah how to design the ark. Am I right? And indeed, Noah did. But even inside the ark, there was something called uh, up and down. The lower and the upper deck. Am I right? So it means that when you come to Christ Jesus, who is the ark, you have your up and down. So how come God gave Noah that wonderful? Because Noah was a man that, number one, that feared God. And Noah had what? Saints, wisdom. Church, I'm begging everyone. When you acquire knowledge, I am begging you. You have to also pray for wisdom. Because knowledge without wisdom, it will, you will become foolish. <clears throat> Some people that have knowledge things that they are wise, but they are not. Wisdom is a gift. A gift from God. With due respect, pardon me, please, to say this. Somebody can be an illiterate, something, but church, when the person advise you, you can be more knowledgeable than that person, but wisdom, when the person advise you, you will know that this is a great thing. But if you can acquire knowledge, church, and plus wisdom, ah, you will go far. Amen. Nothing can deceive you. Amen. That is the reason why some men can study, they can study and reach to a certain level and they, they will tell their creator that there is no God. They will reject their God. They think that they are wise. You are more than stupid and foolish. Excuse me. Because this one is not me that wrote it. You say, a fool says in his heart. Am I the one who wrote it? 
If you have any problem, go and ask David. Go to Israel and bring David out and ask David. So the king put this guy in charge because the king saw that excellent spirit. It means that the king wanted his kingdom to be a what? A great that's the reason why he puts someone that have the excellent spirit. I am begging you today, walking with a fool, it will be a waste of time. Amen. They will always argue with you and they will tell it will be you will you will talk, uh, you will try to explain yourself. They will not get it because a fool is a fool. That is the word of God. Amen. So what do you have to do? You have to save your strength. Amen. So you have to let him or her go. Amen. So that you can move on. Amen. Your spirit right now, you are not free. It looks as if but you can see that nothing has happened. You don't need anything, but you don't, you, you don't feel good. I want you to know that it's purely de demonic. But by the time I finish this message, the grace of God will visit you and you're going to receive inner peace God. and inner joy Amen. whereby you will not worry yourself again. Amen. Right now, sit down and just examine yourself. Examine yourself right now. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Just examine yourself and see. You will know that there is nothing wrong with you. Can you examine yourself? times you have to inspect your own self you have to inspect your what your own self that is called self introspection you have to what inspect yourself inspect yourself you will know that there is nothing i don't need anything but you feel some heaviness in lucas eve church take it easy take it easy because the driver is not a careless driver he is almighty God. So now that he is on board, you are just a passenger, just be calm. He will never lead you to where you will be perish. He will lead you onto the right path. Take it easy. Your children need you. They want you. Many people, check, when you die right now, many people will be behind. Because when you eat, some people eat. When you laugh, some people laugh. If you can't eat, some people cannot eat. Take life easy. And allow your driver, who is Almighty God, uh, drive the car. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He shall be with you till the end of the world. Look at somebody and say, Take it easy. Take it easy. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We have some stubborn drivers, stubborn husbands. When they tell them, Hey, where you are going, you say, Hey, hey. You are not wiser than me. Shut up. I'm a man. Mm, unnecessary overtaking. Mm, he said, hey, honey, take your time. Hey, come and drive. We have some men that behave like that. Come and drive. If you, if you know, come and drive. Why don't you humble yourself and for her to advise you? Because she can see some things that you can't see. Don't trust yourself too much. Allow her also. Because she is part of you. And when you crush the car, she too will die. And the children too. So take your time. And listen to her. But as a man, they don't care. Are you aside at me? Oh, keep, keep, keep quiet arrogant spirit that's the reason why some people you know our women our women always use african men who told you african men <laughs> if you are shaking your head be one you this young youngest african men african men african men we are powerful yeah. we are good but it's just like that small small training about arrogant spirit about a domineering spirit but it's not all african men that behave like that Oh, the abundance grace men. We are powerful. Amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. You say what? We are what? I will ask your wife. 
if you behave good. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, I'm not talking to somebody. I'm not talking to somebody. Humble yourself, church. So our children coming up, you know, mommy, Africa, man, Africa, man. No. Can I tell you something? You need someone that fear God and someone that, you know, have the spirit of humility. As a lady, church, these are the things that you need. Two powerful things. Humility and a man who fear God. A man that when you advise him, will take it. That some men are pompous and arrogant in such a way that they will be at fault. But at the end of the day, they will twist it and they will let you as a woman to apologize. Whereby they know that they are. Why don't you humble yourself and, and apologize? When they, as soon as they come, rise my food. Will not even greet. Where's my food? Oh yeah, yeah, bring my food. Bring, my food. bring me water. Let me wash my hands. And the wife will be sitting and you'll wash your hand. Hey. Uh, I don't know. And as soon as they finish eating, they will not even thank the wife. Some men are like that. When your wife cooks for you, and when you take the food, when you are about to eat, thank your wife. Even when your wife asks you and says, that, What do you want to eat today? Do you need a bar? Do you need this? You have to thank her in what? Advance. Thank you very much. It will not kill anything. But as some men believe that cooking is the responsibilities of the wives. So when they cook, why don't you just little courtesy, a uh, call that appreciation, so that the woman can cook good. We will not. We will just come and eat. And the way they will do it, church, it will, it will even turn you off as a woman. They will begin to take the thing. Uh, 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 we'll be watching CNN. The food was good. Though. Bring me water. You need deliverance. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout amen. Imagine this is not excellent spirit. Am I talking to somebody? They'll begin to take something. Good oh, good oh. And the wife will be sitting, will not even thank the wife. I know that abundance, grace, men, we are not like that. All of us, we are not like that. I can defend my people. I'm not hypocrite. Ask my wife, Pastor Vivian, what do you want me to cook for you, prophet? Oh, if you can cook this, thank you very much. I thank her. When I take the food, I thank her. I, I, you cannot predict me in terms of food and the whole thing. Anything that you cook, when, when I come, I take it myself. And thank you very much. So I preach what I practice. I thank her because I don't know how to cook. So if she can spend time to cook for me, I have to thank her and enjoy the food. But some men will not do. We take the CNA. Hey, 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 hey. Look at us at this in Cuba. Only tomorrow. Uh, uh, do you have a Sia? Do a, you need deliverance? See me next week. Let me deliver you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor. <laughs> but abundance, grace, men, we are not like that. Ah, our wife can testify. We are all good. Am I right? <laughs> Shout amen. amen. Church, you have to thank her. That is called a little courtesy. Not like the old, old type uh, uh, primitive, we do respect mentality, you know, home Papa, Papa will come and they will bring the table. Mama will wash the hands of the church. We are in a modern time. Just a word, thank you. Am I right? It's very important. Like going to a mall, mall, something, you know. Do you know that when you open the gate, we all know. Open the gate, you know. When you see someone coming, you can't just. You don't have to be rude. You just hold it. Let the person, as soon as you enter, thank you. Because the person is not your security officer.
Shout amen. amen. If you can't do that, it means that when you go, to, uh, when you take your wife to a restaurant, that will be the same thing you will. You open the door first. You will not even check if your wife, you just leave there and your wife have to force herself to hold it. Am I right? As soon as you enter, you'll be the one that will put the chair first and you will sit and your wife will be standing. And you'll be the one that will request, hey, wait, where are you? Give me uh, spaghetti and uh, big fish. <laughs> Let your wife take. Hey, where are you? I'm hungry. Uh, uh, I need some starter. Uh, give me two fish. Two fish starter. And the... Uh, the Look at someone and say, two fish for starter. <laughs> and a big cow for a whole meal. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> Look at someone and say, two fish, two fish. is for the appetizer. <laughs> and a big cow for a whole. Take your time. Have time for food. And food will have time for you. Don't fight food shout hallelujah because the food doesn't have strength enjoy the food gradually shout amen. amen so that when somebody asks you a question you can answer the person but the way you fight food you put it here how are you doing say, say mm -mm. <clears throat> i am fine Amen. let's go everybody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. and the king so i know that our men have a wonderful excellent spirit abundance grace chapel i can defend our men we are all good we thank our wives we appreciate our wives when you've been a wife when you come to me i will doubt it because i've already trained my men you know you know what I mean? we are all powerful men verse four verse four now let's go then the presidents and princess uh-huh sought to find occasion uh -huh. against Daniel concerning the kingdom. Accusation. Mm -hmm. yep. Down the what? Then the president and princess. The president and princess sought, sought to find occasion to find what? Occasion uh -huh. against Daniel. Against Daniel. Church, do you know what happened? Because the king promoted Daniel as I said it last week, am I right? The people wanted to accuse this guy, according to the NIV. Yes. Accusation. They, they found some things. They wanted to put it on this guy. Right? And they could not find anything. They check about the kingdom. They couldn't find anything. They check about his lifestyle. They couldn't find anything. They check about the way the guys talk. They couldn't find anything. Right? Because that man was a God-fearing man. They couldn't find anything. Because they wanted to use something and to bring this guy down. So now that they couldn't find anything, do you know that do you know what they did? They said that we couldn't find anything, church, and we know that there is one thing that we can use and to trap this man. And do you know that one thing? Wow. About his religion, about his God. Shout amen. amen. If you cannot find anything about Howard, and you can use the laws of his God to trap him, so be it. Glory be to God. Because the word of the Lord said that many people will rise against you. They will say many things against you. But he said that it, you must be glad and rejoice because your reward. And Jesus said that for my sake, so to come into the kingdom to do things for God, whether you like it or not, people will rise against you. They will say so many things, but for the sake of Christ Jesus, he said that be glad because your reward. My God, my God, my God. To defend the gospel, many will rise against you. To protect the gospel, many people will try to stab you by church. Jesus said that be glad because your reward they couldn't find anything but they said that there is just one thing that we can use to 
get this guy about his God and about the law of his uh, God. We know that we can use this. And you know what they did? About our, our worship. And the same people went to the king. The same people went to the king and they said, King, may you live forever. King, we want you to do something. We want you to declare something that from this time up to 30 days, no one should call any other God except your God, you. No one should not ask anything from any other except you. They have to come to you. And they knew that, hey, they can use this to get Daniel. And do you know what they did? They forced the king. And the king put a whole thing church and it became what? A law. The king signed everything. He said that from this time, anyone that will call any other god from this time up to 30 days, that person will be thrown into the world, the lion's den. And the same people forced the king. And the king put them into writings and it became a what a great law the evil people watch this when i started studying this you know what the lord revealed to me how can mere men force the king to sign wow. a king the final man the one who have the authority the evil thing and the spirit of manipulation they manipulated the king, seduced the king, twisted the mind of the king, and the king used the pen sign and said that anyone. And the king didn't know that those people were after Daniel. Because they knew that, hey, if the king just have to open his mouth and say that, hey, 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 anyone that will do this and the whole thing, when they catch Daniel, the king will say that I didn't sign. And based on that, I will release Daniel. Because the king loved Daniel because of what happened in the book of Daniel 2, verse 16. Because it's Daniel that revealed the secret. So they wanted him to put it and it became a law. Whereby the king can never reverse the statement. You see how evil people they do. I have this good news for you. At times, some group of people will gang up against you where bad they themselves doesn't like each other. I didn't hear Amy. I didn't hear Amy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. Look unto your neighbor and say neighbor. Neighbor. Chuck, do you want me to repeat? My God. Four, five, ten people can, can gang up against you. Or twenty people. Whereby they themselves have some issues against each other. But when it comes to you, they will put everything aside and they will gang up one to break you. But I am here to tell you that your God and my God is bigger than their uh, evil mind yeah. and their uh, things. And no weapon that form against you shall prosper. Amen. Because your God is a great God. Amen. I prophesy to you. Professor. That your God is a great God. Amen. Let 30, let 40, let hundreds of people oh, gather themselves against you. Yeah. It will never work. Amen. Because no weapon that form against you shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rises against you. In judgment that tongue shall be condemned. Amen. So I don't care about those that will gang up against you. I know that my God is bigger than their God. Amen. Your God is bigger than them. Shout amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. They will be fighting each other. But when it comes to you, they will pretend they look as if they are united. It's a lie. They hate each other. But how come they put their differences aside and wanted to attack you? Because you are a very important person. Jesus. You are VIP. Am I talking to someone? Very well, sir. Am I speaking to someone? Very, very well. They'll be fighting each other. 
Wife will speak against wife. Husband will speak against it. And the whole thing. But when it came to you, child, they drop it that you look as if they are united. It's a lie. Go into their camp. You will know that they are still fighting against each other. But how come only one of you? Then it shows that you are very powerful. So in terms of soccer, in terms of soccer, a dangerous player, eh? three soccer uh, people can attack just one person. Am I right? Because the person is dangerous like Messi. Whereby when they lose any guy, mercy can score. So you are spiritual mercy. Yes. Because they know that when they leave you, you will score. You will do wonder. That's the reason why three or four people. But I am here to tell you something right now. You must give praise to the doer of the miracle than the destroyers. You must pay more attention to the doer of the miracle from henceforth pay no more attention to the destroyers because they are nothing yes yes lord everybody shout hallelujah hallelujah i am going to show you something church before we share the grace and it will blow your mind uh, Bumi, uh, Daniel, John, do you know what happened, Pastor Sidon? They said that no one should call any other God except the God of uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar, and you know, no one should ask anything from. And Daniel, the word of the Lord said that Daniel held everything, and do you know what Daniel did? And Daniel went straight inside the house. And when Daniel went inside the house, do you know what Daniel did? The word of the Lord said that Daniel went straight to the what upstairs, not downstairs. So it means that Daniel had a story building. Shout hallelujah. You must own a story building. Daniel had the house. Though he was in captivity, but he has a powerful mansion. Down and top. But when he went inside the house, Daniel did not enter the what the, the basement, but Daniel went up. Anytime they gang up against you, don't pray. You have to go higher. You have to go higher. Don't pray around your bed. That doesn't mean that you can't pray inside your it's a, it's a proverb. So anytime they gang up against you, don't let your voice come down. Lift your voice. It's made that go upstairs. He went upstairs and he opened his window. And do you know what he said? He said, before, if I have to pray, I used to close my window. But these people now have provoked my God and they have now provoked me. Let them find any accusation. Let them go and say what they want to say. I will open the window heading towards Jerusalem. The dwelling place of the Most High God. And I will cry from here, heading straight to Jerusalem. And I will call the name of my God. And the people saw him praying shout hallelujah because it's the same people that set him up and they started moving around and you look as if they heard that man praying i will worship you nobody can never silence me oh my god you are the king of kings you are the only one that i will serve nobody can pull me down oh jehovah god i know that i have a covenant with you and then he started praying and the people heard him what praying they went straight to the king king are you not the one that declared you put everything into look at come and see daniel daniel because those people have already set the king up you've already signed there is no way you can the king said daniel the king wanted to use some things you know and to release daniel but he has already signed son there is no way the king can change it shout him in according to the laws he said i bring daniel here the king was indeed crying bring daniel here look at this powerful asset and this demonic people wants this powerful asset to die you are a great asset you are a wonderful asset church you will not just die you will not waste your time you will not be wasted shout hallelujah you will be useful into the hands of god the yes. lord will use you to deliver many yes. because the excellent spirit is in you shout hallelujah it's in you don't give up 
Church, they brought Daniel. Come and see the king inside. King. Oh. You have to reverse it. There is no way the king can do that. Too late. Anytime you want to sign something, church, read. Before you sign. You have a business, you want somebody to be a partner. Read. You need a lawyer. After the lawyer, you need spiritual direction. Anytime your lawyer sends something, you may need a prophetic direction. I am telling you, the person wants to be your partner. The lawyer will just say, which is physical. But a good prophet have to go through and know the spirit behind that person. Because if you don't take care of some people, when they join your business, your business will go down. They will be like, uh, they will be like Jonah. That when they enter your ship, you may need. Doctor is here, and let me mention, and the doctor said, to you, Prophet, Prophet, I wanted to check this for me. There is a lady which we want to hire. Okay, I will see you, sir. I said, Don't give me one week. Doctor, you can do that. She finished her school doing her own business. Why does he have to come to the prophet and the whole thing? Because he and the world understand. Take this. I don't think this one will help. Take your time. Change this one. That doesn't mean that you don't have wisdom. But we need prophetic direction. Shout hallelujah. I have to go about it. Does it make sense to someone? Now watch this. Oh God. They brought Daniel. Daniel. Why Daniel? Please take him. The one that revealed the secret. The evil people. Based on jealousy. Let me use the word. They wanted to waste. The life. Of that guy. They started laughing. <laughs> ah, we told you, Charlie. Look at him now. Next time when you come. It's like here, Virginia and Georgia, some uh, states, am I right? When you kill, when you do something, church, they can, you have to die, am I right? To kill someone, and, am I right? Virginia, I think they have that kind of law and uh, Georgia too and the Texas I'm a, God bless you and look at this in those days the lion or lions was the uh, what education when you offend or when you break the law church and if that thing is higher something straight the lions have to A big stone deep down lions they will throw you and they will cover the stone all your bones everything you cannot escape shout amen, amen. so they grabbed this guy called daniel the one that the king law but because of the people's what the evil people their plans church not at times God will always allow evil people to set you up and to do nasty things so that out of that your promotion. The living God trapped a man called Satan, Lucifer, and God promoted Job. The Lord didn't stop them. He said that when I stop these people, the power and the things which I want to do for Daniel will not be great. I will allow them to succeed. And I will be the one that will have the final say. The one who has the authority to say yes. Is almighty God. So church, they succeeded everything. And lo and behold. Do you know what happened? They threw Daniel into the lion's den. And the word of the Lord said that that night. The king fasted. Have you ever seen a king that night? The king didn't eat. The king fasted. Look at somebody say the king fasted. The king fasted. Because of who? Because of, that. because of who? 
Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, the king fasted because of Daniel. Everybody shout hallelujah and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shout him in the name of Shout hallelujah. Say, my time has come. My season has come. And my season is now. If you believe that, shout hallelujah and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes, Lord. Shout amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You might read from verse 17. Verse Be fast. 17. Be fast. Yes, sir. Verse 17. And a stone was brought. Hold on. And a stone was brought. And laid upon the mouth of the dead. And laid upon the mouth of the world. The they covered everything. Uh -huh. And the king sealed it with his own signet. Uh -huh. The king. Uh -huh. sealed it uh -huh. with his own signet now watch this when they put the stone eh, the king removed his what his ring as a what it means that nobody can never reverse this again I can see men removing their rings I can see men putting stones and they said uh, this one that we've now finished there is no way Stephen can come out with this kind of accusation there is no way Arinze can come out with this kind of evil thing there is no way Abdul can come out and I can see the stones and the ring uh, but I am here to tell you something right now yes. the one who has the power to remove the king's degrees yes. and to remove the king's ways yes. is almighty God yes. and he will speak on our behalf today yeah. in the realms of the spirit yeah, I command my God and my and your God yes. and angels to visit that office yeah, visit that area yeah, and to deliver your business and you yeah, and your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, I profess to you today you that anyone uh, that have already Lava. declared evil things against you, Lava. may the grace in this house, yes, may the power in this house yes, cancel everything. Cancel. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. Listen to me. Instead of you to die, you will live. Amen. Instead of you to be showered, be put to shame, the Lord will give you laughter. Amen. Instead of you to be sick, the Lord will give you good health. Amen. Instead of your children to be a beggar, oh my God, your children will be givers. Instead of your children to become motherless and fatherless church, they will see you growing old and older above hindrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. The man of God is talking about you. The prophet of God is talking about you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. This is your season and your this time. This is your season and your time. Now make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So 17, he may read because yes. of time. Yes, read sir. 17. Uh -huh. And the king sealed it with his own signet. Uh -huh. And with the signet of his lords. Uh -huh. That the purpose might not might not be changed concerning <laughs> Daniel. Uh -huh. Then the king went to his palace. Hold on. That the purpose might not be changed concerning, concerning Daniel. How? Irreversible. Change? How? Because the man carried an excellent spirit. And the people trusted. Anything that happened in this book can happen to you all. Don't take it as a story. Take this book serious. Evil people. They have become possessed more than Lucifer himself. They eat Satan's food. Emmanuel read. Yes, sir. 18. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Hold on. <laughs> hey, everybody say hey. Hey. The king went into his palace. Yes, sir. And passed the night what? The night fast. The king fasted for Daniel. Mm -hmm. Watch this. The king lost appetite. 
the king could not eat. And the king stopped all the entertainers. Those that have to come and sing for him before he sleeps. He told them, I don't need anyone. My wife go to the queen's uh, uh, room. I don't need anyone. King, do you need any food in the hotel? No food, nothing. A whole night the king fasted. A whole king lost appetite and said that I will not eat because of Daniel. Because they've already set the king up. That was the time he found out that ah, these people, these evil people, I have already said. When I remove or when I, I reverse my statement, I will become a loose king. People will not take me serious. But the king didn't want Daniel to die. Because he didn't, he saw giftings and potential in that guy. But the people wanted to waste it. Do you know the reason why they're after you? Because you are more important than them. Because the, the, the things that you carry, they don't have. And they said, if somebody doesn't have what you have, it's few people that will appreciate it and just uh, admire. But 95% will try to condemn it. They will try to what? Condemn it. And the next morning, early in the morning, the first light, a whole king got up from his what? Bed, wonderful golden bed, and said, Hey, let me just go. Went straight to the lion's den. And the word of the Lord said that this man called Daniel. You might read, read. This man called Daniel. Read. Then the king went to his palace. Uh -huh. And passed the night faster. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now there were instruments of music. All the entertainers, he sees everything. Uh -huh. Brought before him. Uh -huh. And his sleep went from him. Uh -huh. Then the king arose. Hold on. Then the king arose. Very early in the very morning. Very early in the morning. And went in haste. And went in haste. Listen to me. And the king arose early Yabba. in the morning. Yabba. I can see agent respond coming on your way. Yabba. I can see agent respond. Yabba. Your king must get up and yeah. just rescue you. Yabba. I can see agent respond. Yes. May your God rescue you. Yabba. May your God save you. Yabba. I can see some kind of emergency yes. that the Lord has to come yes. and rescue you and your children. Yabba. I prophesy to you Prophesy. the Lord will rescue your business. Amen. I prophesy to you Prophesy. that the Lord will rescue your husband. Amen. I prophesy to you Prophesy. that the Lord will rescue your children. Yeah. I prophesy to you yes. that the Lord will rescue abundance grace sharp. May the Lord rescue you. Amen. The first thing in the morning. Early in the morning. I can see some kind of agency church, uh, that the Lord is about to do greater things. Amen. Your God is about to asthmat all of them. Amen. Your God will be there before they get there. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord avenge on your behalf today. Amen. May the Lord deliver you today. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Early in the morning the king went straight Early. to lion's den. Shout hallelujah. Emmanuel read the King James, I like King James, the time the king went there. NIV. At, uh, NIV. Yes, Early in the morning. Oh, you boy girl. Sharagada Gatata. That was verse what? Verse 19. Sir. 19. I'm almost there, sir. I got it. Okay. At the first light of dawn. Hold on. And the first light of dawn. The king got up. The king got up and hurried and hurried to the lion's den. Uh huh. Twenty. When he came near the den, hold on. When he came near the den, he called Daniel. He called Daniel in an anguish voice. In an anguish voice. And now oh, watch this king. NIV. When he got to the den, in an anguish what voice? Anguish voice. Daniel. Daniel! The king. 
than the king called Daniel in that word anguish voice why because the king knew that powerful excellent spirit that the man is a great asset this guy can do wonderful things for my kingdom and I know that these people set him up they let me sign everything and now look at I a king have now become like a, a fool. Daniel! Dan, are you still there? And the king used this way. A wonderful way. He said what? Yes, sir. He called to Daniel. He called to Daniel. In an anguished voice. Uh -huh. Daniel! Daniel! Servant of the living God. Hey, hold on. He said what? Servant of the living God. Daniel. Oh servant of the living. Of the living. The Do you know the meaning? It means that I can the book and Nezer, my God is a dead God. Hey. But Daniel, I know that you serve a living God. Hey. Because it's the same living God hey. that gave you the power to interpret the dreams. Ah. And I know that you serve a living God. Yes. Church, I want you to know today hey. that they know the God that you are serving. Hey. We are not serving a dead God. Hey. We are serving a living God. Hey. We are not serving a dead God. Hey. We are serving a living God. Hey. I am here to prophesy to you that your living God yes. will prove himself today. Yes. Shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, that my living God will prove himself today. I prophesy to you that today, around 11 30, up to tomorrow morning, your living God will show up. Your God will show up. We are not serving the dead God, I serve a living God. I don't serve a stone. Yeah. I am not serving a wood. I am not serving rivers. Hallelujah. But I serve a living God. Hallelujah. The one who died. Yeah. And on the third day, ah. he rose. A whole king. A whole king. Joseph, a whole king, Daniel, the servant of the living God, didn't use master of the living God. I am a servant and I will continue to be a servant until Jehovah comes. I am not a master. I am just a human being. I am the servant of the most high God. I serve a living God. I am a servant. Daniel, the servant of the most high God. And the king said, What? He says, Daniel. Uh -huh. Servant of the living God. Servant of the living God. Has your God? Hold on. I like this. Has your God, whom you serve, whom you serve, continually, continually been able Hold to? Hold on, Emma. I'm coming. Some of you that serve God as is that it look as if you have a contract with Him that you can terminate the contract anytime. I am begging you today. You are not serving God for me, you are serving God for yourself. Yeah. 
for you to be here you have to work towards your own salvation you are not doing me any favor you are working for your own self Nebuchadnezzar used this word whom you serve continue not every month you stop three days I am fed up ten days continue not half continue what is the meaning of continue whether good or bad whether rain or shine that is called consistent Yeah, I'm tired and today I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go and sing. You don't want to sing. You see, God just brought this one. Yeah, I don't want to do. I don't want to do because the way the way Prophet spoke to me and the the way Jennifer spoke to me, I didn't like it. I will not go. I will not join it again. We will see if they can sing. Huh? Sure. We will see if they can sing. Your God and my God will raise up stones stones will come to this house one will play their organ one will play the drums and stones will be singing he said that my god will raise up stones my god will raise up stones means god can bring many people to come unbelievers shout hallelujah and to praise the name of the it's a privilege for you to come here and sing it is a privilege for me to carry such a gift it's a privilege it's by the grace of god you must humble yourself and serve him in an what anguish what voice joseph howard howard And there was a voice. Am I ready? Be fast, be fast, be fast. Has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you? Hold on. Been able. Hold on. My God is able. Is able. I know my God is able. I know my God is able. To carry me through. Yes, Lord. Shout amen. amen. Our God is able to do it exceedingly, abundantly, and above. Man of God, our imagination. Your God has been able to what? To rescue, rescue you. you. Do you know the fears of the king, Stephen Stella? The king thought that there will be no response. And here comes Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. What an uh, what a wonderful humble spirit. My God sent some angels last night and they shot the mud of the lions. As soon as Daniel landed, the angels they've already before Daniel, the angels they've already and they zipped the mud of the lions. They said to the lions, Another meat is coming, and this type of meat you guys cannot touch. It's a different meat. He carries the oracle, he carries the anointing. This meat cannot be wasted. And all the lions, the lioness, all of them, they said, Yes, I will salute you. We will not touch this. Shout hallelujah. As soon as he landed, the lion said, Instead of us to harm you, we will protect you. Yes, I don't know about that. Yeah, my loose and little shot and a shot. I am here to uh, prophesy to you that the arrow that they release to destroy you oh. will go back. Yeah. The arrows that they release to destroy me, yeah. it will go back. Yeah. The arrows that they release to attack your business, yeah. it will go back. Yeah. The arrows, yeah. the coffin, yeah. the things that.
that they devise against you must be destroyed today let it go back let it go back let it go back let it go back from left right back and front let it go back I prophesy to you today that this month you will enjoy the angelic protection and angelic visitation. Everybody shout hallelujah and make a joyful noise unto them. Look unto your neighbor and say, This is my time, my season, and my hour. I prophesy to you today that no weapon, no weapon, that which in your family with us in america yes. the jealousy by biters yes. your criticizers are prophesied to you Professor. that nobody can ever succeed yeah. because you serve a wonderful god yeah. i have spoken as a prophet of god spoken, and i stand in my office stand. as a prophet yes. that anything that have to destroy me yes. and my family yes. and you yes as a spiritual children yes. may the lord reverse it back the lord wants me to tell everyone yes. that your children will be like olive tree yeah. Alima Zukandere Masuka Maeri Mo Sakata He said that the rain that is coming down right now will quench any negative things around you. And Daniel said, King Nebuchadnezzar may you live forever yeah. stephanie you got touch eh small you boo. everybody shout hallelujah look unto your neighbor and say neighbor, neighbor. the man of god is talking about you can i tell you this uh, 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 stella sit there god opened that door they carried uh, uh, Daniel, threw him into the lion's den. And God didn't say a word. Joseph. Didn't say a word. When you go home, you have to read. When Daniel went in, Daniel started thanking God. In all things, you have to thank God. He thanked the Lord before he started what? Praying. King, you might read. Be fast. Read, 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 read. Uh-huh. Has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lion? Uh-huh. Daniel answered. Daniel answered. May the king live forever. Oh, look at this. Look at this. King, I still love you. May you live forever. I know that it wasn't your fault. They set you up. King, may you live forever. And Daniel said what? King, may the king live forever. May the king live forever. My God! Hold on, hold on. I can boldly tell everyone, I don't know about you, that I have a God. Yes! And he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I serve that living God. I don't know boldly if you can say that you serve a God. If I can drink water, if I can preach, if I can prophesy, if I can see by the grace of God, it's because of this man. I serve a living God, but not a dead God. I don't serve woods, stones, and rivers, but I serve the owner of the rivers who is almighty god body daniel used the word my god 
Those who know their God. Daniel 11 to 32. Shall be strong. And they do. This is the time that we are in right now. The hour of the Lord's dispensation. Those who know their God. Daniel 11. Don't read. Uh, go, 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 go. You might go. May the king live forever. Hold on. May the king live forever. My God. My God. Sent his angels. Hold on. Sent his angels. Hold on. Sent his what? Angel. Stephen. The time those people, jealousy people, they started all their stupid things. That the king reached the final verdict. Do you know what happened? That was the time God released the angels. He said, I want you to go there. God will never let you be there before he sent the angels over. He'll go before you. He will be there. He is smarter than them. Even before they program their evil things, God has already released victory on you. You are a victor, but not a victim. I have two minutes and let me finish this. Watch this. He sent what? His angels. Angels. And the angels did what? Sent my God sent his angel and he shut the mouth of the lions. Yamore <laughs> Zada. He shut the what? The mouth of the lions. When we go to heaven, ask those angels, they will tell you. Do you know the reason why the angel, uh, the lions couldn't touch it, uh, uh, Daniel? Because the angels told them, there is a meat coming. And this meat is not for you guys. Because that meat is loaded. The meat is powerful asset for the kingdom of God. You guys cannot touch it. And after this man, another meat not meat Pura, another meat will come and those meat you guys can touch them but this one papa lion saluted said that angel i hear you angel gabriel we will not touch as soon as daniel landed come and say and daniel was still praising god shout hallelujah daniel was still praising god what a mighty god what a powerful god they always they always put us into the lions then you guys have no idea the situation and the things that you went through you went through lions then but none of the lions couldn't touch you because your god released the angels it's still going on you will not see physical lions but the people the things that you went through it was cobras and pythons but god lifted you up Why are you shaking your head like that? You are touched, eh? Ima, let's finish. Let's finish. He let's finish. The mouth. Do you want me to stand here to go up? Right, let's go. He shut the mouth of the lions. Please, everybody be on your feet. And those who are watching right now, we're going to do something now. Lift your hand. Say, he shout. I want you to do the same thing. One, four, ten. He shot. Say he shot. The mouth. The mouth. Of the lion. Lift your hand. Say today. Today. My God. My God will shot. Will shot. The mouth. The mouth. Of the cobras. Of the cobras. Pythons. Pythons. Lions. Lions. In Jesus name. Jesus. Make a joyful noise unto them. Oh. oh make a joyful noise unto them. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor your, God your God will zip the mouth of, of your accusers. Am I finish? Finish. Yes, sir. Bumi, finish. Shut Daniel, the mouth of the lions. Uh -huh. They have not hurt me. Hold on. They have not hurt me. They have not hurt me. Uh -huh. Because I was found. Because I was found innocent. You are innocent. Yes. I am innocent. Yes.
And what happened? Nor have I done any wrong before you, your majesty. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. The king was overjoyed. Hold on, the king was overjoyed. And gave orders. And the king gave orders. Hey, hey, where are you? Hey, Stephen. Hey, uh, Mexican guy. Hey, uh, uh, Anderson. Hey, come here. Lift the, uh, uh, what did they call it? The stone. Am I right? And bring a. Shout amen. A Salvador boy. And do you know what happened? Christian's husband. They brought Daniel what? Up. They examined this guy and nothing. The king was overjoyed. Let me show you the end of the wicked people. Am I read, 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 read. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the dead. And when Daniel was lifted from the dead, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Hold on. Trust your God. Trust your God. The time will tell. Don't give up. Trust your God. At the appointed time, which is now, your God will speak on your behalf. Trust your God. Daniel trusted his God. Am I ready? And when Daniel was lifted from the dead, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. At the king's command. Hold on. At the king's command. The man who had falsely. Hold on. The one who falsely accused Daniel. Yes. We are brought in. The king said, that, "Go into their house, house to house. Carry them. Carry their wives. Carry their children. Carry their housemates." Hey. Church, when they were doing those kids, me that kind of stupid things, where was the children? But when the punishment came, the children, wise, all of them. No, God, why? You have to take the men, let the children become innocent children. You see how God does his things. Do you know the reason why God, you might read, so that no one will say that it's prophet that put it. The king command the, the king, man who the, falsely the king command the man falsely accused Daniel. Daniel, uh -huh. we are brought in. We are brought in. And thrown into the lion's den. And thrown into the lion's den. Along with their wives. Along with their wives. And children. And children. Hold on, why? No, no. Do you know the meaning? Let me give you prophetic meaning. It means that none of you guys, your seed, will get up one day, one day, with that blood, uh, bad blood, to come and accuse someone. You and your entire children, your name will never be mentioned. That is the reason why, church, you must always exempt yourself from those who try to pull a righteous man down. Because when the trouble comes, it will not affect you alone. It will affect you and your children. That is the reason why when you are doing some things, you have to think about your children. If you want to put your hand into devil's food, think about your children. Because you will not suffer alone. But it will come upon generations upon generations. The word of the Lord said that before those people landed. Read. You might read. You might read. Brought to the along with their wives and children. Uh -huh. And before they reach the floor, Hold on. before they reach after them, do you know what happened? The lion they jump hey. to 175 centimeters, hey. uh, three meters, four. Hey. They jump, hey. they embrace the bodies, hey. they didn't allow them to touch down <laughs> when they saw them coming. Because the meat that they wanted to eat, the angels did their math. 
they became hungry. When they saw the bodies coming, about their children, innocent children. They will carry Davina, will carry Jason, will carry your children because of what Frank Jumo, and they will throw them innocent. And Nebuchadnezzar did something. Yes, sir. Before they reached the floor of the Ima, dead. Fast, please give me two, two minutes. Uh -huh. Be fast. Uh -huh. The lions overpowered them. Uh -huh. And crushed all their bones. Crush all their bones. Uh -huh. The king Darius wrote to all the nations. Then Nebuchadnezzar wrote to all the world nations. Uh -huh. And people of every language in all the earth. Uh -huh. May you prosper greatly. May you prosper greatly. I issue a decree. I issue this decree. That in every part of my kingdom, uh -huh. my people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. Ima, so many things, but because of time church, when you go home. That people must fear. And listen to me. Daniel 2 16. He revealed the, uh, the dream. Am I right? Am I right? And the king gave him gift. Gave him gift. But 6. The king wrote it. Wrote everything and said that everyone must fear. So I am here to tell you. The first time was the gift. But the second time. It will be a what? A fear. A decree that the Lord will release upon you. Shout hallelujah. It means that anytime they try to do evil, it pushes you to higher realms. So do not let what they are doing dump your spirit and demote you. You must go higher. Do you know the reason why the king wrote everything? Because they forced the king and the king wrote some certain things that anyone that will call another God. But the king said that now I am wise. And me too I will put it into anyone that will not serve the God of Daniel. It became a law. That you must reverence and fear the God of Daniel. May the Lord bless everyone. I am done for today.